office as Attorney General of the State of Georgia is to challenge that legislation. I think it's got some serious constitutional problems, and I would challenge that legislation if given an opportunity. Uh, as someone who's been both a uh, state prosecutor, military prosecutor, and a federal prosecutor, I bring to, the, uh, to this race a wealth of experience in the courtroom. I've tried uh, approximately 100 cases, uh, both military and civilian, federal and state, uh, and I want to take that courtroom experience into the Attorney General's office to the benefit of, of uh, people in the state of Georgia. At various times in my career, I've had the opportunity to lead teams of lawyers on very complicated pieces of litigation, civil litigation and criminal litigation. That's what I did as United States Attorney for almost eight years, and that's what we need in the State Attorney General's office, is someone willing to make the tough decisions to litigate against the federal government uh, when they're intruding into the rights of states and intruding into individuals' lives, like we have with the health care legislation. So I think it's, uh, it's great to be back in Georgia where I, I learned about constitutional law. I learned about torts and litigation. I had trial practice classes. I learned about criminal law. I learned about civil law. And I had great professors to challenge the way we thought and made us think on our feet. And, and those skills have, have remained with me as an attorney for over 25 years. And I'd like to bring all those skills to bear uh, serving as Attorney General of the State of Georgia and, and fighting the litigation fights that need to be fought to make sure we have limited constitutional government in our country and in our state.